Something's going on. Move aside. Coming through. Why did the spitting goose cross the swamp? To get away from you and your terrible jokes. <laughs> well, I didn't know Mr. Parsons was a ventriloquist. Well, he's not very good. And that dummy looks fake. <laughs> that's no dummy. That's Tony. Stop wiggling around. You're giving me splinters. Wait a minute. That is Tony. This whole act is a fake. If you're a little wooden boy, then this shouldn't hurt a bit. No. Thank you, and that's the end of our show. Donations are gladly accepted. Knock it off, Wayne, it's over. That was great, Wayne. Whoa! Tony, are you okay? I don't... I'm fine. Just helping my dad. But, uh, maybe you should put the lid back on until we get out of here. It, it talks. It talks by itself. No, it doesn't. You're imagining things. No way. That doll was talking by itself. I want that talking doll, and I want it now! Sorry, Winkle, but I can't sell. That doll is like a son to me. Your loss, Parsons. Look, Daddy! Wait, no! He's a delicate uh, no. piece of wood! Hey. Ah. See, Daddy? He talks! No, I don't! Let go! And I'll get you something even better than a talking doll! What could be better than a talking doll? Oh, how's about a talking uh, pony? Kids, pretty fancy place you got here. He's the world's only talking pony and very expensive. Mr. Winkle paid big bucks for me. Not many ponies can talk, you know. So it can talk. What good is that? What do ponies know about anything? Well, for one thing, Wayne, I know you bury your really dirty underwear in the backyard. He does what? That's not true! How did you know that? Lucian! Come along, Pony. We have plenty more people to impress. Hey, come back here! Who blabbed? I want names! That girl shouldn't be allowed to keep ponies. Somebody should report her to the Pony Protection League. I wish there was a Tony Protection League. I'm still covered in bruises. Tony, oh, wow, you just missed something really weird. A talking pony. <laughs> a talking pony? Look, see that squirrel? Hi, Lotion. What a that? Tony? <gasps> it was you. Wow. You're a ventriloquist. So why fake the act with your dad if you can do it for real? That's hopeless, that voice throwing. Oh. Plus, he'd look dumb sitting on my knee. Who blabbed about my underpants? Hello? Are you sure it's not deaf? Hello? Let's see how you like the Wayne Cramp lobster grip. Wrong. If you want ponies to behave, you pull on their manes, like this. <laughs> you must have to do it harder. Stop pulling my hair. That's mean. I know that. Now say my name. Oh, you are Wendy Winkle. And? And I... I am the luckiest pony in a world filled with lucky ponies. That's better. From now on, you'll speak when you're spoken to. Lucian. Lucian! What? Huh? Tony? Uh, what time is it? 
This is the first chance I've had to get away. Wendy's been making her pony talk all night. Every time I stop, she pull on its mane. That girl is a menace to horse kind. Maybe it's time that pony spoke up for itself, Tony. Yes, it's all true. I own the world's only talking pony. Hello, people kids. Yep. I sure can talk, can't I? And what I want to tell you is, Wendy Winkle hurts me. <gasps> when there's no one around, she pulls my mane and she feeds me cheap dog food. Okay, we have to go right now. She lets her friends pinch me. She calls me bad names like Glueball and Hayred and, and Pony Pants. <laughs> Training camp, Pony. I don't usually have to do this because most Winkle Ponies understand the three basic rules without even trying. Be cute, be prancy, be obedient. You're good at cute, and you excel at prancy, but today you were terrible at obedient. Are you finished? What? I won some respect. You either get nice, or else I stop talking and go straight to the Pony Protection League. You do that? Want to try me? <laughs> this little pony party has got some new rules. Let's start with, hmm, some pampering. Now! Sugar cube. Newspaper. Now, make me pretty. Prettier. Good. Blue is definitely my color. But I want more! Oh, thank you. I am looking good. Too good to be living with a bunch of old mules. I'm gonna sleep in your room. You sleep in the stables. But I can't do that! Well, you certainly can't! I'm not having any horse in my house! Are you finished? All that pampering has made me sleepy. Put me in your bed and don't bother me until morning. Oh, and bring cake. Only like cake. How'd it go? Great. And I don't need to come back until the morning. And there'll be cake. <laughs> What do you mean? This is the Pony Protection League, isn't it? Well, we need protection! Right now! <laughs> oh, you offer protection to ponies. Uh, I see. I'm going outside. I ate so much, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> well, we let it in the house because it has to come in. Well? He said, uh, ponies. Don't talk, and I must be crazy. Please! You can't take it away! It's the only one in the world that talks! Like I told your dad, ponies don't talk. I can prove it! Watch this! <laughs> oh! A mean puller! You folks have pony abuse written all over you! Load them up, boys! Their main pulling days are over! So long, sucker! Hey! Wait! That pony just said so long, sucker! Crazy people shouldn't have ponies. to live again. Clean me, wear me, let me serve you, old master. I forgive you for burying me in the backyard. Shut up! Be quiet! Wayne Cramp, what are you doing out here in the middle of the night? And what are those? Don't listen to them, Mom. They can't talk. They're just 
Otter pants! In the good old days, children were expected to earn their keep and go to work. People would send little children up chimneys to keep them clean because they knew a clean chimney was much more important than a clean child. In fact, children like being dirty, so they used to send them down mines, too. Cool. Okay, the end. You can stop the projector now, Maury. And those are just some of the horrors of child labor in years gone by. That soundtrack is biased. Child labor had its good side, too. Miss Hissy, how can you say that? Sorry, Lucian, but I don't have time to discuss this today. That's right, Miss Hissy. I've got something really cute to show everybody. A rare breed of pink mouse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate school. I want to do something cool, like go to work and be a miner. Wayne? Wherever did you get such a notion? Miss Hissy, she said it was a good idea. Ask Lucian. That is more or less what she said, Mom. See? I'm a good boy. Just as I thought. Pink mice do not occur in nature. Nice hat, Wayne. I'm a miner, see? I got a shovel, too. <laughs> Great. Now all he needs is a mine. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it. So you have to go to school like a lady baby. Anybody know about any mines around here? I'm looking for work. No, but I could use someone to sweep up hair. Bent. I'm looking for a cool job. Miner available. Comes with own shovel. We'll dig for stuff. Hi, Wendy. Uh, can I have another look at your pink mouse sometime? Sorry, no can do. It died. Oh, Wendy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Big whoop. My dad has lots more mice where that one came from. I knew it! Hascam's testing soap products on animals again! They are not! And you better keep your eco-beak out of other people's businesses! Aces! A mine! to expose the truth and save those animals, Mari. They get shampoo in their eyes on purpose, you know. My mom used to do that. I'm going undercover. Mom made Dad bring them home when she was on her last germ war. What are you digging for? Gold! <laughs> cool! I'm a miner too, but uh, I lost my shovel in the graveyard. Mind if I... Help yourself, Wayne. Aces! <laughs> you struck gold, Wayne. <laughs> Stinky gold! <laughs> Ew, gross! This isn't a mine! <gasps> For God's sake, Wayne! What happened? You smell like a sewer. Miss Hissy said children like to be dirty. Ask Lucian. That is more or less what she said, Mom. I don't care what Miss Hissy said, Wayne. You need a disinfectant hose down. Back outside, now! Lucian Crab was asking about my pets today, Daddy, and saying has Kim does horrible things to animals. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Daddy? Oh, of 
course not, Candy Dumpling. Good. I knew he was a liar. Lucian? Mom! Uh, uh, there was something contagious going around in school. Oh! You are a good boy. Put your hood up. Wayne? What? I'm a chimney sweep now. But that's a toilet brush. <laughs> you got me more. Lots more. You must be the best daddy in the whole wide world. <laughs> and don't forget to feed and look after them. I won't. Maid! Hey, Mr. Winkle! You got big chimneys. Need them clean? <clears throat> what are you suggesting, young man? Those chimneys are perfectly clean. This is a soap factory for such sake. But I really need a job, Mr. Winkle. I come from a poor family, and we don't get enough sugar. Hmm. Well, I might be able to find a job for a boy like you. Not enough sugar, hmm? Fur? Pink fur! I excuse me, can I help you? Um, yes! I'm here on official business to, um... Don't give us the runaround. We were warned some kid might come snooping around. I'm not a kid! I'm just short! I find that very insulting! Hey! Be careful! You're getting it in my eyes! It stings! Hmm. This is easy! Wayne? Lucian? Oh, hi, Dad! <laughs> I found some pink fur, but no animals, except one, my brother. What was he doing there? Working, of course! They paid me in candy and gave me candy for dinner, too! <laughs> but the dinner candy tasted funny. Well, at least you've got a nice, clean job now. What I'd like to know is what you were doing there. He was spying, Dad! That's why you threw him out, remember? But Wendy had an unnatural mouse, and I found pink fur. They're testing soaps on animals again. Animals need to wash too, Lucian. Mwah. Have a nice day, Sugar Apron. Get a detention for me, girl pants. So, son, what exactly is this new job of yours? Product development. Wowie, that sounds exciting. I love my job. Oh, this is like bungee jumping, isn't it? One, two, three. Hey, I wasn't ready. Nothing to worry about, Mrs. Gramp. <laughs> It'll probably fade in a couple of days. I brought you a get well card, Wayneykins, but I think you look cuter than ever. See? We match! <laughs> <laughs> I know you think they're cute, Pumpkin, but Daddy's going to need his furry animals back again. Sorry, Daddy, no can do. I had to give them away. They were being really smelly. Look, 
I thought you said pink mice don't occur in the wild. Nature is full of surprises. <laughs>